is why. <laughs> Can you imagine this? <laughs> Tweet yourself. <laughs> But like, I'm pretty sure that most people understand that tuning a guitar would be would be a helpful part of a live performance. And oh yeah, yeah, no, I think tuning is important. But can you imagine we were in a bar right now and we just spent all that time tuning? You'd all be like, <laughs> and then we play the song and then imagine we all did that again. You can see where I can like where momentum killer is sort of what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? When we're in plays like this, that was awesome. I feel like we're all bonded together. Plus, you all learned the tuning of this song, which is important. So. Sarah's the most patient person on earth. I'm not necessarily. We call her Mother Teresa. I'm not the most. I'm not the most patient, but I do feel like people um, they get very excited when you're not giving them entertainment at all times during the show. There's generally I'm not saying that girls don't do it too, but it's generally a, a nice gentleman just being helpful. <laughs> Please hurry up and play another song. Is my favorite when they'll say that, um, and I, it makes me want to go to his job whatever it is that he's doing <laughs> and just stand next to his cubicle <laughs> and every time he hits the enter key I just want to be like I'd like to see another form finished in the next, <laughs> next five seconds what do you think huh that'd be good I'd like to see that maybe he works on a car wash or something and I could just stand next to him as he's soaping down a car <laughs> let's get that hose out <laughs> yeah I mean I think for me it's more about Momentum. But I agree, people say the strangest things sometimes and uh... Mostly I'm just paralyzed at a live show, like I get really self-conscious even if I know the band that's playing. <laughs> and if, if they were to ever speak to me or I was to ever accidentally speak to them, I think I was in the dream. Like if I was to be like... Like a dancing dream. I'd be like... <laughs> never talk in my fantasy of dancing with my friends, by the way. That's another thing. There's never any speaking. I don't like dialogue. I'm, I'm not really a dialogue person in my daydreams, but um, if I was to speak in my day, if I was to speak in my real life at, a, at, a, at someone on stage, I would think that it was a nightmare. What's that? Is it happening right now? Is this the nightmare? Because I can't. You're gonna Google me. <laughs> Absolutely, you should Google us. It's a lot of good stuff up there. Where's the, what's the thing in Inception? I need one of those, I need to spin something. I totally. Here, you can hold the potato. See if it's real. Yep, it's real life. This is real life. Okay, well this song, um, was fun. I enjoyed that too, Nancy. The shows would only, I mean, truthfully, we should just get rid of our guitar decks. The shows would be five to six hours long, but you don't have jobs, right? <laughs> well, this last song we're gonna play tonight, today, this afternoon. I know. Well, the record store does have to open again someday. I know. We brought sleeping bags. We thought it was a sleepover. We got this miscommunication, so um, we're gonna do a signing afterwards for a few of you. So that's is coming to the show. Anyone? Yeah. Okay, good. We tried to pick some songs that we aren't playing tonight to play today, so some of you will get to see all of your favorite songs tonight. Um, I think there's still tickets, too, so if you want to come to the show tonight, you should. We play for 50 minutes. Um, Sarah dances. It's pretty awesome. Um, but we want to say thank you so much to Criminal Records for having us here. This is an absolutely fantastic record song. After the, for the past 12 years, we've played a lot of record stores. We've also seen record stores completely change and the record industry completely change. And uh, this summer we've been playing indie record stores like this. And I'll tell you, there isn't that many left, but the ones that are left are amazing. And you guys should totally come in here and buy music and have a great vinyl selection. And 
Um, anyway, so we want to say thanks to them, and most of all, we want to say thank you to all of you for coming out on this blisteringly hot day, standing outside so patiently, for then coming inside and organizing yourselves and being such attentive listeners, and we just really just, this is the thing that makes our day. We look forward to getting up early to do stuff like this, and early for us is 11, yes, and, um, and we just appreciate you all so very, very, very much, so I hope we get to see you again soon, and, um, and thank you again in advance for being here. Thanks.